Today we will be making baklava, a sweet and crispy dessert that's great for the holidays. So for this recipe, you will need phyllo sheets. These are thin pastry sheets that come in um, a box like this and you're just gonna lay it out on a plate. And these sheets can easily dry out. So what we wanna do is place some wet napkins right on top so that they stay a little damp. Now we want to prepare a nut mix. You'll use one cup of walnuts and one cup of pistachios. And we just want to pulse it so that they become into little pieces. Not too much like a powder, but more like this. I'm also sprinkling in a tablespoon of cinnamon and mixing that into the nuts. After that, we want to melt in about half a stick of butter or even less. And we are just going to spread it all over this pan, just at the bottom. We're ready to lay our sheets, so place down one sheet and on top of that another. And the pattern's going to be two sheets and then a little bit of butter. So I put the butter on and then put in two more sheets. And it's okay if it rips like this, it'll be fine in the end. So following that pattern of two sheets and some butter, you want to get at least six or seven sheets at the bottom. And once you've done that, we can add in our nut mixture. So just sprinkle that on top of the phyllo sheets. After I've done that, I'm going to put the phyllo sheets on again and butter. And here I'm only going to use two to three sheets because I don't want it too thick. After those three sheets, once again, we're going to layer our nut mix. It's kind of like lasagna. You're going to layer the sheets and the filling inside. And I'm going to put six sheets on top with some butter. And this will be our very top layer and it'll look like this at the end. So now we'll have to cut into the phyllo sheet so I'm cutting horizontally and then down diagonally to make these shapes. Once we're done cutting we will bake the baklava at 350 degrees for about one hour until the sides are brown and crispy. Now I'm making the syrup that we'll pour over the baklava. So in three spoons of honey I'm adding about one cup of sugar and also 3 4th cups of water. So just stir that on a medium heat until the sugar is dissolved. And to that mixture, I'm also adding in 3 cloves and mixing that in as well. And until we get to this boil, I want to keep stirring and then turn off the heat. Once I've done that, I'm going to add in some pure vanilla extract just a splash, and also some rose water. Once the baklava is done baking, it should be brown and crispy like this. And now we can add in the syrup that we just made, so just pour it all over the baklava. And that's it, our baklava is done. This is such an easy and great dessert that everybody loves and I hope you guys all try it. Please like, share, and subscribe to Happy Cooking. Thank you.